Hey kids, James Wooten here, and I just got done watching WrestleMania 31, or WrestleMania Play Button, or WrestleMania Equilateral Triangle, which, whatever you want to call it, but I just got done watching it. Wow, uh, what an event actually. I was actually expecting this event to be really crappy, and it ended up being awesome, totally awesome. Um, I was a bit disappointed that we didn't get to see the, uh, the, the, um, the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Championship match or the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. I could care less about the Battle Royal, but I wanted to see Cesaro and a Tyson Kid, And those all took place before 7 o'clock Eastern Time, which I think is a real drag. I don't think there's, there should be any type of show that takes place before the actual event. I think it's a... Uh, I think it's a real kick to the face, a real uh, hit to the balls of the wrestlers that actually perform in those types of matches. But anywho, um, uh, the first match that we had this evening being the uh, the ladder match, uh, not bad. Uh, really, some really good spots by everyone involved. Uh, congratulations to Daniel Bryan for winning the IC title for the first time. It's going to be a really cool run. I, in fact, I wanted him to win more than I really did Dolph Ziggler because Ziggler's had the belt before, not Daniel Bryan. First time, first time. Uh, second match, I mean, I'll be honest, wow, they put, they put, I was really surprised they put Triple H versus Sting so early into the event. Um, the entrances of Sting and, and Triple H, um, the Sting's, you know, Blue Man Group drum entrance, and Triple H's Terminator, Triple H, Triple H's Terminator Genesis entrance was... Really just, nah, it was alright, kind of goofy, both are really goofy, um, but just the fact that Triple H went over Sting, very upsetting, very upsetting, no, nobody wanted to see that, nobody wanted to see it, but uh, whatever, Randy Orton versus Seth Rollins, good match, very good match, very good match. Um, AJ Lee and Paige versus the Bellas, not bad, very surprised that AJ Lee went up, you know, whatever, wow. Uh, we also had, um, well, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on some of these, uh, forgive me, uh, what we had, uh, uh, Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker, wasn't really too excited about it. It was an okay match. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, congrats to The Undertaker. You're 22 and 1 now. Yay! Good for you. Um, God, what was the other match? I can't remember the other match. Oh, John Cena versus Rusev. I expected John Cena to win. Kind of glad he won, but I really want to see him bring back the Spinner US title. If not, crap. Whatever. But man, the main event, Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I've, I've come to grips now that when Brock Lesnar steps into the square circle, it's no longer a wrestling match. It is a fight. And that is exactly what the WWE Universe got this evening. It was brutal. While there wasn't a lot of high spots, that match was a war. An absolute war, an absolute battle. I'm surprised both men even survived. I'm surprised Roman Reigns lasted as long as he did. But Brock Lesnar dominated. He looked strong, and holy crap, when Seth Rollins ran down the ramp, cashed in his money in the bank, and won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Was not expecting that. I wasn't almost expecting it to happen after somebody won the match, but for it to become a triple threat match and he still win wow kudos to WWE for totally surprising this longtime fan and most of the people in attendance most of the people watching at home and most of the people with the benefit of flash photography absolutely amazing finish to WrestleMania 31 play button equilateral triangle a definite 7 out of 10 one of the better WrestleManias of recent memory. Absolutely one of the better WrestleManias. So, can't wait for the next pay-per-view. See you at Extreme Rules.